In this lesson, we're going to focus on scale degrees, what they are, and how to use them to analyze music. Hopefully, by this point in the course, you already have a basic understanding of the major scale, but understanding the major scale is critical to understanding scale degrees and how to use them. So first, we'll briefly review the major scale. Remember that the major scale is a seven-note scale that serves as the foundation for the way we understand most Western music. It's the do re meat scale. And most people uh, say that it has a happy sound. Here's the major scale in the key of A. The notes of the major scale in the key of A are A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G sharp. After the last note, G sharp, the scale returns to A. This is the octave of the first A. Let's look at the major scale in the key of G so we can begin to see what they have in common. The notes of the major scale in the key of G are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. There are several different notes in the scale compared to the key of A, so why do they both sound like a major scale? The answer is that it's the relationship between the notes that produces different kinds of scales. Let's look at the intervals, or the amount of distance, between each note. In both the key of A and the key of G, there's a whole step between the first note of the scale and the second note of the scale. There's a whole step between the second and the third note, a half step between the third and the fourth note, a whole step between the fourth and fifth note, a whole step between the fifth and sixth note, a whole step between the sixth and seventh note, and finally a half step between the seventh note and the octave or the eighth note. It's this pattern of intervals between the notes that defines what kind of scale this is. Any scale with this interval pattern, whole whole half, whole 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 half, will sound like a major scale. This is where scale degrees come in. So what are they? Scale degrees are a generic way of representing the different notes of a scale with numbers. Sometimes these numbers might be sort of the normal Arabic numerals, or sometimes they might be Roman numerals, especially when the scale degrees are used with chords, but we'll talk about that more later. The first note is represented by a numeral one, the second note by a number two, and so on. Each note also has a name. For example, the first note is called the tonic, and the second note is called the supertonic. Here's a list of all the names of each scale degree. Take a second to look them over. Okay, back to our two examples. In the key of G, the G note is represented by one and is the tonic, while the A note in the key of G would be represented by a two, and this is called the supertonic. So what about the key of A? In the key of A, A is the tonic and would be represented by the one, and each note after A would be represented by the next Roman numeral. Even though the keys of A and G look like they have very different notes, the relationships between the notes is identical. Using scale degrees makes it easy to see those relationships. Using scale degrees also makes it easier to talk about other kinds of scales than just the major scale. For example, what is the natural minor scale, and how is it different from a major scale? Let's compare the major scale and the natural minor scale using A as the tonic, or the one. In A major, the notes are the same as before. In A natural minor, many of the notes are the same, but the C sharp becomes a C, the F sharp becomes an F, the G sharp becomes a G. Here's how it sounds. Using scale degrees, we can see how all natural minor scales are different from major scales. To turn a major scale into a minor scale, flatten the third, sixth, and seventh scale degrees by a half step. Here's another example, the Mixolydian mode. If you were to look this scale up, you'd find that the Mixolydian mode is identical to the major scale, except that the seventh scale degree is flattened by a half step. Here's what it looks like. Let's say you wanted to play the Mixolydian mode in the key of G. If we know that the Mixolydian scales are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and flattened to 7th, we can convert the G major scale into the G Mixolydian scale by flattening the 7th scale degree a half step. 
Since the seventh scale degree in the key of G is normally an F sharp, it would become a plain old F natural in the mixolydian mode. Note that when you modify a scale degree like this, it's a half step movement relative to where it began. So a flattened scale degree would take a sharp to a natural, or it would take a natural to a flat. It would not change a sharp note into a flat note. Hopefully this helps you see how useful scale degrees can be, not only in understanding the major scale in different ways, but also in analyzing other scales by comparing them to the major scale. Later, we'll use scale degrees to learn about the minor pentatonic scale, as well as how to use degrees to talk about chord patterns and types of chords.